In Tokyo, Japan, a scientist is showing that it's possible to influence the mind using subliminal sounds buried in cell phone ringtones. Hideto Tomobechi is a cognitive scientist who studies the human mind and artificial intelligence. After 15 years of research, he's convinced that certain sounds can alter listeners, both psychologically and physically. First sound can affect memory. That is the most, most important part of, of this method. For example, if you have some favorite music from high school, and when you listen to the music, your memory of that the high school days, not just a general memory, but a specific event, okay, can come back to life. Then sound can affect your emotion, or things that are deeper than emotion, like instinct. In June 2005, Dr. Tomobechi, who's also a part-time rock musician, decided to put his theories to the test by releasing a self-composed ringtone called Rock Melon. Dr. Tomobechi claims that if a woman listens to this 30-second ringtone 20 times a day for approximately 10 days, her breast size will increase. The ringtone is based on the subliminal sound of a crying baby. If you listen to the ringtone, you cannot hear baby crying. But when it is reproduced inside your brain, the brain thinks there's a baby crying. And if you're a female, if you listen to baby crying, your breast naturally enlarges. Instructions to the brain are carried by what Dr. Tomobechi calls functional sounds, which are hidden in the music. It takes several different functional sounds working together for the ringtone to work. This is one of the baby crying functional noise sound. Of course, you need to combine this with other sound to open your, your cognition brain channel to make it sound like, like a baby. Once the brain channels are opened subliminally by the functional sounds, they first affect the mind, which then produces effects in the listener's body. There is also a more long-term thing that gives a more of a hormonal effect on the female breast. Plus, there are muscular messaging that says you're, you're fat in your stomach and in your back. back. Please move toward your breast. This is Rhea. Over the next 10 days, she will listen to the rock melon ringtone 20 times per day. At the end of which, Dr. Tomobechi predicts that Rhea's chest measurement will increase 2 centimeters to 81 and a half centimeters. If ringtone breast enhancement smacks of gimmickry, the theories behind it are taken very seriously indeed. Over the last 10 years, Dr. Tomobechi has been lecturing on how to apply his mind manipulating techniques to the threat of terrorism. His services have been in demand ever since March 1995, when members of the Aum Shinrikyo Doomsday Cult released a nerve gas called sarin into the Tokyo subway system, which injured 5,000 people and killed 12. Dr. Tomobechi was asked by the Japanese police to deprogram some of the brainwashed members of the cult by applying his sound theories. And of course, we are not allowed to use any drugs, anything to deprogram, only a words or sound, for example. And, and, and then I devised the method to deprogram them. Now it's time to see if in Ria's case at least, Dr. Tomobechi's claims are true. After listening to the ringtone 20 times a day for 10 days, has her chest measurement increased by 2 centimeters? At first I didn't feel anything, but I think it's a little bit bigger. After measuring, it was found that Ria's breast size hadn't increased by 2 centimeters, but by 3. Ria is now the proud owner of an 82 and a half centimeter bust. The breast enhancement technique seems to have worked for Ria, and Dr. Tomobechi has received correspondence from women worldwide attesting to its effectiveness. But the technique has yet to be scrutinized scientifically. 
Dr. Tom Abechi is now working on ringtones which he claims can make people fall in love at first sight, improve memory and encourage hair growth. When the ringtone is ready, then people can have hair just like mine. This is my real hair when I'm a rock musician.